and welcome back to the channel in this video I want to talk a little bit about a possible bike trend now this is pure speculation on my part I don't know for a fact that this is happening or will happen but I'm just I have a hunch that um, there could be something in the future Tagalongs, if you want to call it, or, or, or copycats. Um, and what I'm talking about is the Wired Freedom. And because of that bike being so popular, I think uh, some other bike companies may take... Uh, note of that and and see um you know how popular and well it's been received and maybe try to build something similar and what i mean by that is possibly more 60 volt bikes at reasonable prices because the wired freedom let's face it for the 1999 dollars that it's currently going for is a very good price i've had so many people comment that they are either purchasing or have purchased it but keep in mind one thing that um about that bike is you do have to pay shipping and i'm not exactly sure how much the shipping is right now you'll have to check and see depending on it might depend on where you're at but um even still that bike is a really good bike and and it's let's face it it's a 60 the 60 volt 1500 watt motor that peaks at two or 2200 watts with a 40 amp 60 volt controller i mean that is some serious power right there uh for for the price of that bike and i mean let's face it there's none other no other one out there that i think of that style of bike basically like the cruiser style bike that can match it there's no way there's nothing i haven't seen anything yet and i'm wondering if that'll become a trend um i mean i'd like to see it i'd like to see more options for 60 volt i mean that bike will go is capable of going upwards of 40 miles per hour I guess the one, if I had to be picky on the bike, the one thing I'd be a little bit picky about is the 20 amp hour battery. And I'm wondering in the future, if Wired will come out with a bike that is like the Wired Freedom Pro or something like that, that is a dual battery or a larger battery like that bike would be really nice with two uh 20 amp hour batteries that's what you get now a 120 amp hour but imagine two of them that would give you 40 amp hour that'd be pretty good but um i just wonder if some other companies will jump on board i hope they do because i'd like to see more um bikes that are a little more high voltage not that we need to go 80 miles an hour or anything but i really like the power of them for hill climbing like that wired freedom has 138 newton meters of torque i mean that's gonna pull you up those hills i guess it might depend on where you're at um, and whether you've got hills to climb or whatever, but if the bike's got a little more of everything, then it doesn't have to work as hard either, which is nice. But I hope they do it. I hope more companies uh, um, go to 60 volt, if not 72, that'd be nice too. I know the price is going to be higher for the 72 volt, but Gee, if, if 
that Wired can keep the price at $2,000 right now, then why can't other companies, right? If they want to compete, they're going to have to uh, do that or maybe even go lower. And I don't know if it's possible, possible to go any lower, but I'd like to see Wired as well come out with a cafe, uh, like a uh, moped style. That would be cool. Uh, to see if they come up with one in the future. Who knows? Maybe they will. Put a put a similar uh, setup on the uh, moped style. Like if you want to call it a Super 73 knockoff or or um, maybe a design of their own, the wired, but something similar. Uh, to a Super 73 style, that'd be, I, I bet you that would be a huge hit for a lot of people. Putting the same, uh, you know, the same size uh, a motor and, and all the components that the uh, Wired Freedom has. We'll see, maybe, maybe that'll be the way of the future. Some other companies will jump onto that because that one was such a good seller. I mean, I'd like to see it, so. If you have any ideas or any comments on what I've been talking about, what do you think of the possible trend of since Wired Freedom has done so well something like that or maybe even go to Wired themselves maybe making a moped style uh, e-bike since they've done so well with their cruiser style let me know what you think in the comments And that's going to do it for another video here on the channel. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and thank you very much for doing that. And if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. And if you want to leave a comment on this or any other video, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. Once again, thank you for joining me for this video. And until next time.